So last week when I was watching the show, I recognized that, uh, that, okay, so that what the show is doing here is, uh, it's trying to make it clear that, um, he does kind of see her as a girl. I forgot their names already. Um, Rico Fajardo's character does see Tomo as a girl. Um, but like only in like the, the just the scientific fact, like, oh, well, I know when I really, really sit down and think about it, I know you're a girl, you know? Um, so I assume he, he uses like she, her pronouns for her if he ever like refers to her. Um, but it's just like, she still has that like bro. I mean, he still has that like bro mentality whenever he sees her. So, I mean, I, I get it. I understand. Um, it makes, it makes a, a lot of sense. And so I, I think the sort of point of my confusion um, was just because Tomo is so self-conscious about it, where she's actually trying to like prove she's a girl, um, that I, I thought like maybe the show was going that step further where it's like, no, he's, he's actually like that dense where he doesn't even see that she's a girl. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're going to be seeing how this series goes. Uh, I, I really liked the first episode. We haven't been introduced to Sally Amaki's character yet, who... Uh, luckily I can say that, especially in this video, because I know some of you guys don't watch the English dub in your own time, but Sally Amaki is in both versions of the show. She's in the Japanese and in the English, so when I say Sally Amaki's character, that applies to everyone. Um, but yeah, she hasn't shown up yet, but I'm excited for her to show up because I, I, I love her and she's one of the reasons that I'm watching this show. Um, but yeah, we're going to be uh, jumping into the second episode of Tomo-chan. Uh, you guys seem to enjoy the first uh, episode reaction, but if you continue to enjoy this, please continue to support the video uh, and let me know that you want to see more. Maybe we can do the whole series on this channel. I don't know. It depends on how much interest you guys have and uh, other small factors here and there. But anyway, uh, Tomo-chan is, Tomo is a girl. Episode 2. Let's get started. Here we go. Oh, hush. There's room for you. Come on, sit down. <laughs> it's only just, you should probably pick up your bag. Okay, he did. Good. Actually, I'll stand. Oh, cool. Yeah, real cool. Don't put your I bag down, I'll offer someone else's just down. Awesome. Why am I such an idiot? Oh, an OP! <laughs> Constant fist bumps. Oh, I like the sound of this so far. Oh, I re I think it's fitting the vibe great so far. <laughs> Very simple visuals. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> yeah, the visuals are super simple, but the song's great. Aww. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! Becomes a battle shonen. <laughs> That's cool. Cute. What the? Am I? Is he? Oh is no! He doing that on purpose? People? Oh. Seriously? Oh, I want to turn around and smash his face in right now. Do it. Fucking but do it. This is so gross. I feel like I oh have to my pretend God. it's not happening, or else I'll just break down and cry. Please punch him. Bastard! The hell do you think you're doing? <laughs> Good. Good job. All right, June I'm glad took he care of everything. There. He filed the report and turned the swine into the authorities. Good, this good, perfect. Should be locked up for life. <laughs> well, what I said was, maybe you should stop wearing skirts to school. No, <laughs> I like him. June was like, someone groped you. Aww. What did he do to you? Are you doing okay? Aww. Oh, yeah, great. Protective friend. He just friend. touched my butt and breathed on me. <laughs> did you go to the police? God. Okay. Oh, hey, you all right? She's a very Hi. protective friend. You know, I love what it. What were you saying about him? Huh? <laughs> and I, I can't focus when you're wearing. Mm. Yeah, thanks. I know how it looks. <laughs> you are such a freaking <laughs> Don't tell girls how to dress. What do you mean? So you don't think he cares about me? Why? <laughs> what I mean is that I think he might be right. This time, so you wearing a skirt at all is strange. But why would you wear it that short? <laughs> it's a lot easier for me to move around in. Duh, what other reason would that there be? That makes sense. I don't know. Maybe you should try wearing it without shorts. Wait, what? <laughs> no, thank you. It's the normal way skirts were intended to be worn. You're lying! 
If your skirt were to flip up, someone could see everything. Me, Suzu. I never knew you were like that. Okay, really. <laughs> this is the first I'm time she's heard about how a skirt is worn. If you want to walk her home, you better hurry. For real? <laughs> not at me anymore? It's not. Aww. I like when when he's happy as well because he he's voiced by Mira as voice actor. So hey June. He sounds like Mira when he's happy. Do you want to walk home with me? I bet he'll start seeing you in a whole new light. Oh my gosh. If this doesn't work. It's all me, Suzu. Maybe fault. you can get a longer skirt so you don't hey, feel so as um... self-conscious. <laughs> oh my god. In fact, he's gone full weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's he's protective of her. <laughs> I said, wait up, jerk! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I know that just because you're my best buddy, it doesn't mean I can tell you what you can and cannot wear. Yeah, that's good. The thing is, that's I a good realization. Think you should wear have. anything that makes you feel embarrassed. You know? Wow, his face is doing all kinds of interesting stuff. <laughs> you hear what I just said? <laughs> Are you even listening to me? I heard that you haven't said a word to someone. <laughs> she always goes up so and, and prods him. Shut up. Suppose it'll take a while for you to reset after what happened. Go ahead, I do. Ow! <laughs> Why are you being so mean to me today? I'm not being mean. Okay, Shut mostly up. back to normal. It'll be interesting to see how long they can keep this up. <laughs> The school idol. School idol. I do. Oh, hey, Carol. Good morning. Oh my God. Oh my God. As always. Here she is, Carol Olsen herself. There she is. Anywhere without being sworn. Believe that's Sally Amaki's character. So obvious. Well, step one, put the dumbbell away. <laughs> that's funny. She's not also comes from a British family, and that alone has its own. Oh, British. There's what? What are you saying? Her personality. <laughs> Both of them. Maybe if I befriend her, I too can be like a soft, sweet ball of cotton candy. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Hello, I hope she's legitimately like Something that. Wrong? And she's not. You seem preoccupied. She's Have probably going to be one of those people who it's like a big fake. Oh, and candy. she's actually kind of mean. I guess you could say she's sort of a distant relative of mine. You two look very similar. We're children and and we're engaged. You are not. <laughs> okay, maybe you are. Am I that forgettable? <laughs> I don't know. I don't pay much attention to the boys in my classes. Well, I'm a girl. Can you not see that I'm wearing a skirt? <laughs> Please don't take it to heart. She's just Fine. dumb. Whatever you say, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't mean any harm, right? Dumbbell. <laughs> this is really cute. Hey, so what Why is she saying that? Now? I've been trying to figure it out. Dumbbell. Why are you doing that now? <laughs> Once you get off my back, <laughs> alrighty. Ah, she's cute. I like her. But whatever the reason may be, she's still my best friend. So if you're trying to oh, dig I love up me, dirt, Susie. ask someone else. I want you to tell me the fastest way to knock her out. Not going for <laughs> here, are we? Nah, man, I'm way into Misuzu. Ice cold women are my jam. I'm into oh, Misuzu as well, actually. I take it you're a journey to the Kubota. Sure, we can talk. Once you get. Uh, oh my there. god! <laughs> Come meet me after school and I can get you pumped. You're going to pump me? First, <laughs> so I can see what we're working You're going to pump me? Like that? <laughs> hand, actually. Uh, she's funny. I don't have these answers. All I can say is that it's obvious that something's different. Oh my gosh. Seen That's like a that great illustration. Besides you. Maybe. That's right, Tomo. My god, Misuzu. That's the sense of urgency. You need to get what you want. <laughs> so, she's so manipulative. Warm up by running. What's up? <sighs> I she can't tired. Anymore. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I can't help it. All right, strength training's next. Yay. Oh no. And one. She's not gonna be able to do a single one. I can't. <laughs> and one. I can't. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Is there something on the ceiling? I'm just stretching my neck. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't understand why you're so angry. I'm not angry. I'm making conversation. <laughs> that is assuming you're smart enough to figure it out. Are you smart enough to figure she it out? She got me. Yeah, there are a lot of guys in black suits at my house whose names I don't know. How many do you have at your house? <laughs> none. There are none. It's like a child. I did a lot of mean things to her, so I probably messed that up. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I mean, she sincerely calls someone like me her best friend. Wow, that's oh, don't amazing. sell yourself short, Miss Susan. Even despite dreadful personality, um, will you be my friend? You no. no way. <laughs> Can we be friends? Yeah. I her voice hasn't changed I'm at all. <laughs> what I want is for you to be my friend. Huh? <laughs> oh, okay. Is that it? <laughs> She's what? on board. Is that seriously all you wanted? Alrighty. Well. Glad to know ya. Aww, <laughs> she's so sweet. I mean, I can tell you're pretty rich, so that helps. I am rich! <laughs> that means I can have friends too! <laughs> you know, I like her. I end up actually being friends with her. Yeah, I can see why. They're both cute and girly, and dudes are all into that. Maybe not all. This guy isn't. I don't know if I'd describe me as girly. girly that when it comes to but I guess, unfortunately. Huh? to Tomoe. Oh, great! Are you crazy? I mean, we dated for a little while in middle school, but that was more than enough. Did you? Oh. You dated me, Suzu? That explains their relationship with one another. Whoa, this is a strange sounding song. <laughs> this is cute. This sounds like the sort of song that would have been sung by the voice cast. Ooh, this is a good chorus. That was a nice episode, and it actually gave the show some longevity to me. Like, after the first episode, I was trying to figure out, like, sort of how, uh, you know, how well the show was going to work if they extend, like, you know, more than, uh, I guess, you know, a few episodes. Because the basic conceit is very simple and, um, and doesn't really give much to work with, I don't think. But... The way they're expanding on these characters and and introducing these characters, um, I do actually quite like them, and and I can totally see how you would get a lot more out of them. So Misuzu, uh, especially for me, is like a character that I love, but also like she feels the most familiar to me because she is like basically. Almost exactly like the uh, black-haired girl in Fruits Basket. Her personality is extremely similar, and her look is very similar, and her voice actor is exactly the same. So, um, so like I actually feel like she's just been transferred over from Fruits Basket to this show, and uh, and I always liked her in Fruits Basket as well. So, um, so because of that, I mean, she is uh, a, a character that's already like high in my rankings purely because. I already liked her from the first second, um, and I do like that she's like protective of Tomo, um, but she's also, you know, uh, purposefully trying to uh, force Tomo into situations that will take her out of her comfort zone, which is uh, is interesting. And also, I would be kind of annoyed with her if I was friends with her. I would be like, "Can you please stop it?" You know. But I think the the scene where like she had found out that Tomo had been groped on the on the bus and she was like immediately like are you okay what happened did you like report it to the police like all of that sort of stuff like she was like you could see that she was actually panicked and and worried for Tomo and i think that's really really sweet that's a really good way to show like how much she cares for for Tomo because that's a serious situation like i like that the show actually didn't um it it didn't seem to pass that off as being like a joke you know um it was it it used that and then like they legitimately like they didn't just go like hey you stop that they actually reported him to the police and all that sort of stuff like i like i like all of that uh side of things because i it's it's kind of sad when that sort of situation is used purely as a joke but instead they use it as a, as a situation to show um how protective both uh misuzu and uh and June are uh, of Tomo. So I, I appreciated that. Um, and we got introduced to Carol now. 
Uh, and uh, Carol, I I mean, I really like her. I think it's I think she's funny. Like, she was one of those characters that I was. I said that I was nervous about her being like secretly. Well, not secretly, but you know, she's one of those people who she has this cutesy personality, and then as soon as like she, they take her away from all the other people and take her to the side, she's like, "What do you want?" Like I imagine that would be the kind of character she would be, but um, but no, she actually is just dumb, <laughs> and I kind of like that. Like she's just spacey and um, simple-minded, you know, and like a bit of a prissy rich girl. But she is like, when it comes down to it, she just wants to have a friend. And she's superbly honest. And I like that. I think it's cute. And I mean, in really, really funny lines. Like she was just constantly very funny. Um, so I, I just liked all of all of that stuff. And I and I think the scene where she was like worried about asking Tomo to be friends, and then Tomo was like, Oh, that's all? Yeah, sure, man. Like I, I really liked that as well. I think the voice actress of Tomo did a, a great job at having such like a casual sounding like the she so casually was like yeah let's be friends in such a way that made me feel a genuine kindness you know like there's there are qualities to uh to acting that like i think some people don't realize how difficult uh it is to pull off until they like try it themselves or are actually in a project where they have to do that sort of stuff because i've done a decent amount of acting in my life and there are certain um, qualities of your of your voice and of your face and all that sort of stuff that are that are so natural um, but that are really really hard to pull off even though like you know people think oh when you're a great actor you can like cry on command and you can show like all this rage and stuff honestly for some people that's the easy stuff um, you can like I know I know several people that can cry on command I can't really um, I, I can't really cry on command. I've done it maybe... I did it once on the stage. And I've done it a few times in rehearsal for things. But I, I think I've only been able to pull off crying on command once on stage. And that was tough. And I did it in one short film. And I think it ended up being cut out because it didn't... Like, it, it didn't really show up on camera too well anyway. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, crying is what people think about when they think about, like, oh... This is like acting, you know, um, and of course that is very impressive when people can cry on command and show a lot of emotion and stuff. But honestly, the stuff that's really difficult about acting is showing like sincerity in certain uh, moments, you know, and sincerity in a moment of just like, hey, yeah, you, you can be my friend or whatever. Like if you can pull off that sort of sincerity, there's a certain... Um, a certain quality to your voice that comes through when you're like a genuine person or when you're just being like yeah sure let's be friends um, and you're not being like super genuine and the problem is when you're acting and you're reading lines a lot of the time the version that you're going to go to is the version that like a regular person whether they're good or bad is going to say just to save face as like yeah sure let's be friends you know it's just because you're reading lines you will default to that but if you can pull off, if you can get to the heart of like, this is how a good person sounds, then it sounds great. And I think the voice actress did a great job there. Uh, anyway, that's uh, Tomo-chan is a girl, episode two. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know uh, and like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, do all that sort of stuff. I have full lengths on my Patreon account, as well as early access for certain shows and exclusive reactions. So go over there, check it out. Um, and yeah, that's it. So I'll see you next time. Goodbye.